Hi, this is John David. I just want to do a short intro video for a video series I'm calling EMP or Electromagnetic Precursors for Earthquakes. Here are the TEC rate of change maps in the uh, ionosphere. TEC just stands for Total Electron Count, aka ionosphere electron density. And these areas here above Africa where it's red and white and over here where you have black and blue are apparent high levels of electron flux in the ionosphere. Now, over many years of my own research, I came up with an my own model that completely eliminates the use of subatomic particle interactions and is based solely on electrical engineering concepts. And I'm just calling it the capacitor model because that's what it is, based solely on a capacitor and a capacitor when subjected to uh, incoming electromagnetic energy aka space weather tend to have this effect especially along the equator uh, this electrical energy tends to cause what I'm calling ionospheric capacitance instead of electron density. If you look at plasma lamp that we all know and love from our childhoods. These are all great and fun. I think this is a pretty good analogy actually. Um, you can look at the outer sphere as the ionosphere and little sphere in the center as the ground of Earth. And in between where these electrical discharges are where would be the air or the dielectric insulator in between these plates of the capacitor. Now these plates, you could break this down even further to make it easier to understand. You could just say they are like giant batteries. The ionosphere is one giant battery, and the ground of the Earth below would be the other battery. And you get an electric field that develops between these two uh, plates or batteries of opposite polarity, and this, we get more incoming electrical energy from space on our ionosphere it keeps building up and it can only hold so much charge and the dielectric insulator can only keep these charges separate for so long when that dielectric insulator breaks down you get a electric discharge and that's the trigger mechanism for not only earthquakes but volcanic eruptions and geomagnetic events we actually did have an earthquake in Greece a few days after this ionospheric capacitance went sky high like this. Um, of course, this is just one of many precursors or many more before and after this, but it was that magnitude 5.4 in Greece two days following and some earthquakes in Iran right here. And just wanted to show you the basics of uh, the model that I'm using for earthquake warnings. So I had some requests for that, and so it'll be one of many to uh, follow. Thanks for watching.